The piercing sound of support filled the air in Mexico this morning while silent observers lined the streets to watch the procession to Rodney Griffin's funeral. It just warms my heart, I mean. Friends, family, classmates, those who just heard of him, strangers, all turned up to remember Griffin, nearly 45 years after his death. Griffin was 21 when his army helicopter was shot down over Cambodia during the Vietnam War. He did what his country told him to do, and he didn't come back. But the family refused to accept he could be gone, hoping he would someday come home. When planes carrying prisoners came back... We sat glued to the TV, glued to it, because no one knew who was on that plane. Years went by. Loved ones passed on, including Rodney's brother, Bill. Bill's wife, Doris, said he never gave up on finding Rodney. He was buried with his POW bracelet on. He always insisted on that through the years. Then the answers they'd been waiting for came. DNA testing came back positive on remains found in Cambodia. We found out February the 11th, which was my husband's birthday. A family that had waited so long wanted Rodney home. He's finally back where he's supposed to be. He's on his homeland, so we're glad of that. From Rodney's birthplace in Mexico to his high school in Centralia, people were watching him pass by. My heart was up in my throat. I had a difficult time even swallowing, but I noticed lots of people with their hands over their hearts. This is a real display of, of patriotism. And at the memorial service, memories of his daredevil tenacity, his fun-loving attitude. We don't have to wonder, and we, we know he's watching over us now. I mean, he's, uh, he's my guardian angel now. Loved ones say family who didn't live to see today would have loved it especially Rodney's mother. Opal used to say, I don't want Rodney to be forgotten. I want people to remember Rodney. From the turnout of today and Thursday at the airport and all, Rodney has not been forgotten. That's for certain.